it can be quite impersonal, you know, on intensive care, having wires and tubes everywhere. And so I think, yeah, it's really important not to forget, even when they are connected to the ventilator, um, they're really unwell. You can't forget that that's, there's a human there. That could be your father, your uncle, your brother. Paco, despierte. Joaquín. Paco, va a llamar a su mamá, ¿sí? Para que la salude. <risa> Mándele besitos a su mamá. Ah. Tírele besitos a la mamá, dígale chao. Muy bien, Joaco. I regarded him as a brother. I mean, I can categorically say after my mum, it is one of the hardest losses for us. I mean, it's never right to lose anybody. But, you know, he was only 47 and uh, he touched so many lives. He was so, so compassionate, so giving. Yeah, it's just very hard to process. It's just like playing around in my head all the time, constantly, constantly. And then there's people that think it's a joke and think it's a conspiracy and think all of these stupid things, whatever. You know, whatever they want to think, the death rate is real, the, the sickness is real, the after effects are real. Dave, I'm here. Oh. You keep fighting, love. You keep fighting. You've got to come back, haven't you? He's continuing to have problems with his ventilation mm -hmm. because his lungs are very stiff and they're very badly damaged from the from right. the COVID. Okay. But you've not stopped trying though, have you? No, no we've not stopped trying. And you won't, will and you? And we're not at the point where we will stop trying. Okay. It's all I want to hear. Yeah. It sounds silly. No, I know. And I know it's a long, long road. Yeah. He's still fighting. Yeah. 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 Just at home, my mother, who was 93, managed to pick up COVID. We weren't allowed to go with her into hospital. We had to call an ambulance. And I somehow suspected that would probably be the last we might see of her. So we, we did say goodbye to her in the ambulance. <laughs> she just said I couldn't have wished for two better sons because of everything we'd done in looking after her. Doesn't seem right, only those people there. I know. I know that was the maximum you could have, but a shame for her. I feel cheated. I should have been there. He's very excited to come home. And um, yeah, he calls me a million times a day. <laughs> I hope he doesn't know about the um, surprise we have for him when he comes home. We thought it'd be nice to get everyone out and just clap and just um, just really celebrate his arrival back home. Thank <laughs> you.